it's a real honor to be out here at the MRS conference this week. Uh, there is a special session being held on microelectronics and advanced packaging technologies uh, with an all-day workshop today to uh, really kind of explain what this segment of the industry is and why it matters so much for material scientists. Microsystems, like a microprocessor, have many components in them, like say a logic element, input-output, different memory technologies. And with a system on chip, you're designing all of those together, manufacturing all of those together, and they'd say share a common process node. And uh, so everything is very tightly integrated. You get a lot of efficient working between those elements when you manufacture them as a system on chip for monolithic silicon processing. They're very good for consumer electronics like say a laptop or a smartphone. When you start moving to very large scale systems for say training AI models, you would want more and more and more compute in a microsystem package. And so uh, what that means is we need to find ways of incorporating silicon from multiple wafers into the same uh, system. And a way you would do that is by turning to, say, a system in package or advanced packaging techniques, which would allow you to incorporate elements that were manufactured separately and incorporate them into a common package. Material science is an incredibly important field that feeds into semiconductor innovation. Once upon a time, the industry was all silicon all the time, and we certainly do use a lot of silicon and will continue to in the future, uh, but we use two-thirds of the periodic table in our manufacturing processes. So we need to know what the properties of uh, all of those different materials are and how they can be used for some sort of semiconductor application, information processing or sensing. And uh, a lot of that work starts with upstream science research, say at universities or national laboratories, and this convening really pulls together a lot of that expertise to kind of say, hey, what are the problems on the horizon for uh, the microelectronics world and how can advanced packaging technologies uh, develop using new materials uh, so that we can deploy these for numerous applications. Heterogeneous integration really represents a paradigm shift in the industry. Uh, innovation in the industry for a long time was all about Moore's Law. The more transistors you can put onto a chip, the more advanced it is. And uh, that works really well for uh, logic end markets, processing end markets. Uh, but we're a very rapidly diversifying industry. It's not all about more transistors all the time. A lot of the innovation for us is uh, now uh, coming from sources like advanced packaging, and so we need upstream science, uh, science organizations and upstream science researchers to understand our industry and understand our markets and understand how this paradigm shift toward advanced packaging technologies is really going to help us uh, do new things. This is an exciting industry. We are, we are everywhere. Uh, you can't go a single, a single hour of a single day without touching some kind of component that benefits from uh, microelectronics. Coffee makers, toasters, washing machines. This is a technology that really does change the world in some of the most exciting ways. And a lot of that innovation on the horizon for us depends on heterogeneous integration and advanced packaging technologies. So very exciting time to be in the industry. You want more MatSci? Well, don't go anywhere. Click right here to watch all of our content from the 2025 MRS Spring Meeting. Have fun.